everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Sheldon Creed once again competed in the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series, this time at Chicagoland Speedway in Illinois. He qualified seventh and was running well until he made contact with the wall in the closing laps of stage one. The team worked to make repairs over multiple pit stops during the first stage break and restarted at the tail end of the field for stage two. Creed chased the handling of the truck for the remainder of the night due to the damage, was relegated to a hard-fought 11th place finish. He did lead one time for a couple of laps. His next race will be at the Kentucky Speedway on July the 11th. Anthony Alfredo also ran the Chicagoland event for DGR Crosley Racing, this time in the number 15 truck. He was fast right out of the transporter. The driver they call Fast Pasta qualified sixth, ran a really strong race, and walked away with an outstanding ninth place finish. He'll return to action on July the 27th at the Tricky Triangle at Pocono Raceway. Brian Henderson turned left and right last weekend at the Watkins Glen International Speedway in a road course event with co-driver Todd Lamb. He qualified fifth and ran in the top five for a while until a power steering failure caused them to go a lap down. The team ended up finishing seventh. He now heads north of the border to Canada next weekend for a race at the famed Most Sport course. Jesse Love's bad luck in the SRL Southwest Late Model Tour Series continued over the weekend. He ran at Kern County Speedway for the first time and with only 20 laps of practice prior to qualifying, he qualified 12th. He was running inside the top 10 when a mechanical issue ended his day just after the 40 lap mark of the race. The next night, he got back behind the wheel of a sprint car for a sprint car challenge tour race at the Petaluma Speedway. He ended up in a stacked heat race and missed the transfer, but he roared back to win the B-Main and start the main event in 24th. When the green flag dropped, so did the hammer as Jesse steadily worked his way through the pack on a rough track and finished up in 14th. His next race will be this Wednesday, July the 3rd, back in the sprint car. Cassidy Hines ran two different divisions in the 600 micro sprint race event at Cam Speedway in Hastings, Nebraska. The personable young lady competed in both the non-wing and winged A classes. In non-wing, she started 15th and charged her way to 10th, before a pair of competitors started beating her bumper and finally cost her four spots at the finish line. She was not happy. She wound up 14th in a classic case of the result, clearly not telling the whole story of the performance. In the winged A class, the team misjudged the track and she finished 17th. She'll be back in action once again at the Fairground Speedway in Cortez, Colorado on July the 5th and 6th. Colby and Justice Sokol were also in action at the Cam Raceway. Colby started 7th and finished 6th in his heat, ran the B-Main, made the feature, started 16th and wound up with a really nice 8th place finish. Justice ran in the restricted class. He started 6th and finished 3rd in his heat, then started 5th and wound up with an outstanding 2nd place finish in the main event. Nice job, Justice! They also ran Washington Raceway in Washington, Kansas over the weekend. Colby started second and finished second in his winged A-class heat and then started and finished in sixth spot in the feature. In the non-winged A-class, he started sixth and finished fourth in his heat and then started 11th in the main and unfortunately had a throttle cable break, causing him to pull out early. Justice won both his heat and his feature for a clean sweep of the day. This week's Race Phase Broom Award goes to Justice Sokol. Colby and Justice will next race on July the 13th over at the El Paso County Speedway. Connor Mozak scored a sixth and a fifth place finish as he continues to trickle up the finishing order at the Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night in late model action. He'll be back in Hickory again in two weeks' time to do battle in the Dexter Knight NASCAR late model stock. William Cox finished eighth in a marathon Young Lions division feature at the Bojangles Summer Shootout that lasted over an hour, counting a lengthy oil spill 
They had Charlotte Motor Speedway resembling a 1950s grease fest for a while. Cox will be back in action for round five of the shootout on the infamous Charlotte Quarter Mile right about the time this broadcast airs. Jake Bowman scored a 12th place finish at Madeira Speedway over the weekend. Guess what? He's going to join William Cox in Legends competition at Charlotte Motor Speedway for this week's Bojangles Summer Shootout Race, once again, right about the time you're seeing this show. Jaden Walbridge was also in competition at the Madeira Speedway in the Junior Late Model Division. He qualified sixth out of 17 cars, ran in the lead pack for much of the event, but then missed a shift on a late race restart, still managed to cross the line with a nice fifth place finish. He'll be back at Madeira, the junior late model once again on July the 27th. That Madeira Speedway junior late model event, oh by the way, was won by none other than Joey East. Joey's been racking them up and putting them down this season and will do his best to add to his string of wins and podiums when he returns to action at Madeira on July the 13th, this time with the Speed 2 Midget Series. Bryce Bizanson was back at Evergreen Speedway for the NASCAR Super Late Model event, but unfortunately his night ended with a really hard crash. Head on over to his Facebook page and leave him some love if you get a chance. He'll be back in action on July the 13th, back at Evergreen. Hope you feel better soon, Bryce. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. If you missed any of our previous episodes, why would you do that? That's okay, no worries. You can get caught up just by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. Now get out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.